everybody, it's Tyler here at Vex Rules, checking in 343B Bonkers. This is uh, your DC champions for skills. Phenomenal machine that they have. Played a lot of signature events as well, too. Uh, so really great to see them here at Vex Rules as well, too. A lot of great stuff to talk about on this robot as we go through. Really like their wheel config. A little bit unique from what we've seen for other teams as well. So we'll be covering that. G tier hang as well, too, is what we'll be going into. And a lot of great stuff as we follow through this robot and their tribal journey. Come up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Zach, let's start out on the bottom here, talking about your uh, drive train and drive base. When we were talking earlier, you got a unique set of wheel config, so walk me through everything you have. Yeah, of course. So to start out, we have a seven motor, 600 RPM drive train with 36-36 gearing. Earlier this season, we've been running a fast drive train, so 452.25, but we want to go faster for worlds. However, we noticed a lot of problems with control. So we have this one traction in the center. The reason that we don't have double traction is because when the intake is down for descoring, this, tra this traction wheel is closer to the real center of the bot when you consider the position of the intake. Otherwise, we have seven motors because we want to run a faster drivetrain without losing torque. So we have this 5.5 watt motor and this is a 12 tooth pinion on the same axle as this wheel. And you don't see it, but there's a 36 tooth gear up above the 12 tooth pinion. And as for just a nice side accessory, we have these side rollers. So when we uh, bowl, we can ride off the wall really nicely and we don't get stuck on anything. Something I want to ask you on your drive base, sir. Um, so I noticed you got the sleds in the front here, right? Um, based on that wheel config and those sleds, are you only able to go over the barrier one way or are you able to go over both ways? We're only able to go over the barrier one way. This is deliberate. Our center of gravity is pretty far in the front and we want this back wedge to be able to push balls over really nicely. And also a problem we noticed with other bots that have sleds on the back, especially flat bots, is that they ride up yeah. while, on the tri balls while they're descoring. So this wedge really prevents that from happening. It allows us to descore really effectively. Totally makes sense on there. Alex, talk to me about that tri ball coming in as well with the intake. And then we got to check out uh, your GT or hang as well. But I'd love to hear about any major changes you made coming in the worlds or any of the like SIGs or states that you made big changes to. Yeah, so <clears throat> on both fronts, we've made a lot of a lot of changes, a lot of updates, uh, especially as the season progressed. Before we used to run a barrel intake with rubber bands and the sprockets, uh, but now we run flex wheels because we had some entanglement issues earlier in the season. Uh, we also run um, these intake sleds that are a lot larger now. Uh, we have um, a trap door mechanism. So what this allows us to do is that when we're uh, when we're match loading, we can put uh, tri balls in here, and uh, before we, before we outtake, it, it rests above the ground. So it's a lot easier to cross the barrier. It's also a lot harder to seal. And then uh, once we outtake, it's easy to come out. And then uh, while the tri balls come in, they cannot flip uh, outside of the bot. Um, other than that, we, we now we used to run a half watt motor, a uh, half watt intake. Uh, now we run a full motor intake, and then our hang uh, we completely changed. Before we had a uh, C tier uh, horizontal mechanism, uh, but now we have this G tier hang uh, that extends out like this. And here, um, the, these we have a, a really nice lineup mech. Uh, this allows us to line up really easily uh, with with the pole. We run into the pole. Uh, the the pole slides. Uh, these, these two uh, screws slide into the top of the pole, it latches on. This goes into our winch, which is uh, connected to our seven motor drive. So we have all seven motors uh, using the PTO mechanism that just deployed uh, seven motors onto the winch. Uh, there's this nice little stow for the string as it winds up. And then that gets us to G tier. We're trying to make it H right now, but G tier. Um, and then uh, that's that's the, the hang for the most part. Other than that, yeah. yeah. Something I want to ask you on that. Uh, between the PTO and these guides that you have up here, do you notice you are climbing maybe a little bit faster than some of your other competitors on the field? Yeah, actually. So from a lot of a lot of what we've been spending time on in the past month or so is the, uh, maximizing the like the torque to speed ratio. And so for us, I think we like we got we have one of the faster uh, flat bot hang high hangs uh, in in the competition right now, uh, just because of the way that uh, we have it set up. It's this is. Um, 600 RPM winch, yeah. um, and it's also, uh, we have a little bit a wider radius than just the axle itself. So this gets us up pretty fast in less than like two seconds um, if, if we're at, at full speed, so yeah. Yeah, and then on your intake here, we're seeing that meta, I think kind of the final stage of this meta is going with uh, tri-ball sealing as well too. So talk to me a little bit more about what you're rocking there. Yeah, so this uh, this wedge here doubles as 
has multiple functionality. First of all, the wedge, uh, it helps, it allows us to like uh, slide under opponents' uh, wet, uh, intakes, and so we can steal tri balls that way. Uh, it also works as a bowling mechanism, where if we put the, uh, the when we're bowling, dropping tri balls on the front of the wedge, it rolls off cleanly, and so that gets up, it normally allows the tri balls to roll into the aisle, so we don't have to worry about them rolling into the field and collecting them later. Uh, it also, just the, the distance allows us to top load tri balls uh, without any concerns. Connor, let's talk about some of the code implementations on this robot, how you're approaching uh, autonomous modes as well too, and then anything else you want to cover on this robot. All right, so we use a uh, standard easy template for our code. I'll talk about some of the routes. Um, so our right side Elim route um, is a very interesting, it's a unique rush route, which uses the wing to get the middle ball, and then it turns very quickly to get this, the other middle ball. So what happens is that, uh, here, I'll show real quick a little bit. We rush with the back side, and then we turn here and then we spin with this wing out to get that middle ball first. And then we're already at the second middle ball and we turn to get that last one. It's a really fast rush. We've never been beaten when we, when we use it. So, uh, and then on the left side, we have a disrupt auton, which sort of runs towards the middle and gets the two middle balls over to the other edge for the person using the right side auton to score those in. And then uh, also talk about some of the underrated features on our bot, sure. which never really gets spoken of. The first one is uh, our ratchet. Little Timmy, which I'll talk about. Little Timmy here is very small here. He's here, but he holds up the entire bot. and He's never failed us ever once yet. And then another thing is this intake pneumatic, which is right here, which lifts up and is able to spin using a, using the bearing block here. So this lets us score goals pretty effectively, but also when it comes down, we can then go under the goal and de-score. Also, I, I love the pneumatics well too. Teams that actually uh, retract in when they activate their pneumatics, I think can be a much more effective solution than teams that are actually pushing those pistons out as well too. So really cool to see your team implementing that as well. Anything else you want to cover on this awesome robot? Oh yeah, so here we have an Auton Selector. Uh, it's, a, it's a custom made one. We have a lot of Autons here. I, I won't go through all of them, but uh, having a lot of Autons is really useful. It makes us really flexible with different teammates because all our different teammates have different sorts of Autons, different routes, but we can run in sort of accordance with them. So like for that left side one I was talking about, if our teammates have an Auton that pushes from the middle, then we'll run that disrupt. But otherwise we have one that gets the middle balls and then gets them into the alley. And then we can and then we can bowl those in when the game starts. Well, phenomenal machine, uh, Bonkers, by the way. Congratulations on a great season. We can't wait to see how you do here at Vex Rules. Thanks for taking time to detail more about it. Great stuff teams can learn from. We can't wait to see how you do. Thanks a lot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.